Is Dreamhouse really good for you? Well, I did a lot of research and I combined it into one single video so you can make best decision for yourself. Firstly, let's take a look at the popularity. What we want to determine based on this is if Dreamhost is a legitimate company and you don't need to worry about sharing your personal information or your credit card information with them. Dreamhost was founded in 2002 and to this day they are 19 years old. As you can see on this lower graph, Dreamhost gets steady amount of search traffic from Google Trends and they are averaging around 2.5 million visitors a month. Also, Dreamhost is one of only free web hosting companies recommended by WordPress itself. So what we can determine from this? We can definitely say that Dreamhost is a legitimate company and they will not try to steal your data or your credit card information for short term gain. Now let's compare their data center location. Dreamhost is primarily based in the USA and they have two big data centers in Virginia and in California. So keep this in mind that you will probably not want to go with Dreamhost if your traffic doesn't come from the USA or North America. The important part is also to compare the different hosting plans. Now, majority of you will try to go with shared hosting because you will be sharing some resources with other websites, which will make it significantly cheaper than the other options. The few important parts to remember with shared hosting is that you cannot run Nginx with shared hosting and also obviously you will not get isolated RAM resources with shared hosting. Now let's take a look at server speed because this is really important metric. What we are looking at is the straightest line as possible, which they kind of achieve. But as you can see, they're around 2000 milliseconds on some days, which is two seconds and it's really high. On average, they are posting about 1700 milliseconds, which puts them definitely in the higher tier from shared hosting companies. And we would like to see this number way lower. As you can see on this map, USA and the Canada is averaging around this 2, 2 second, 1 second mark. But if you would get traffic from the Europe as well, they will be attacking 3 second mark, which is really high. Server uptime is also not the best, but not the worst. On average, they have 99.86% of uptime. And we can see two big hiccups in here, 28 minute one and 18 minute one, and also a few small other ones. Those can be also scheduled maintenance, so it's hard to judge, but 28 and 18 minutes of that time is definitely not the best one. But on average, they are just okay in this category. The good part about Dreamhost is that they have something called 100% uptime guarantee, which guarantees you that if you will have one hour of downtime, they will give you one day of free hosting on your next plan. But keep in mind that Dreamhost assessment of downtime begins when the customer opens a support ticket to report the problem. What does that mean? If you will be having two hour downtime, and you will notice it one and a half hour into this downtime and report it, it will only consider the 30 minutes. So you will be not eligible for any free days of hosting. So I'll keep this in mind, but I definitely appreciate that they are doing something like this. Now we can go and look at stress testing because this is really important metric and many people undermine it. Let's take a look at this graph. I know it can be looking confusing, but don't worry, I will explain everything. What is basically happening is that you will send 50 virtual users into your website to interact with it. So they will start to click everywhere and doing a lot of requests to the server. You can see this gray line represents the amount of virtual users on the website. So obviously you start with zero, start adding, adding, adding until it hits 50, then stabilizes and then starts leaving some of them. So the first one who came in is the first one to leave. What we are looking for is this blue line. We would like to see it as straight as possible, which would basically tell us that the server has no problem with high amount of requests. And you can see that Dreamhost had two big hiccups and a few small hiccups, but we can say that this is a kind of good results. The important part is that they had over 10,000 requests and zero HTTP failures. Just for imagination, this is what failed tests would look like. This is for Bluehost. 
with 50 virtual users. As you can see, this blue line is definitely not straight and they are hitting a big numbers, 2000 milliseconds, when DreamHost was around 200 milliseconds. So we can say that DreamHost can definitely handle some traffic. In this part of the video, we are going to be looking at support. DreamHost with their support will offer you knowledge base, system status, contact tech support and discussion forum. Now you can see they do not have a direct phone number you can call them. Let's compare their self-help articles. Those are pre-written articles you would find for majority of the biggest problems. As you can see, they do the job right. I personally would like to see more images with directions, but this will do the job just right. Now the interesting part is that DreamHost offers something called community forum, when you can go and write some basic things and people, other users, can respond to your questions, which is kind of okay, but I really like more when they have good live support, because it's more important and way more reliable than those posts on community. Let's take a look at DreamHost live chat because this is really important metric. Now the good part is they are not trying to hide it like other web hosting companies. They have it pretty straightforward. You will have to fill up few basic information so they can connect you to the best help possible. So for example, when you have problem with WordPress, you will have to select WordPress so they can connect you with the expert on WordPress site. Now their live chat, they are okay. They will try to help you. They are kind of accessible, but the weird part is they are not available 24-7, they are only available from 3 am to 9.30 pm pacific time 7 days a week, which is kinda weird that they are not 24-7 to be honest. Let's take a look at server management platform, those are the ways you will be interacting with your server. Obviously you can do this via command lines, but there are better ways. Majority of web hosting companies are using something called cPanel. You can think about it like Windows for your computer. This is the way you will be interacting with your web server, to make it way easier for beginners. Now if you are a complete beginner, you will not miss cPanel and you can manage this really well. But when you are used to cPanel, you can definitely have some problem getting used to this new layout. But once again, if you are a beginner, you have nothing to be worried about. And I find this really easy to get started with. Let's take a look at a few things DreamHost will offer you. They will give you free and easy Cloudflare integration, which will definitely help your website. The website WordPress migration is for free or otherwise you can pay them 99 bucks for them to do it for you. You will be offered daily backups and server level firewall and also they will give you money back guarantee for 30 days. With their basic plan you will be getting one website, but they are really easily integratable with WordPress, so if you are looking to make a WordPress website, this is definitely for you. You will be also getting a free SSL certificate, which is going to encrypt information your visitors are sending to the server, which is basically must have in these days, and you will also get free CDN, which stands for Content Delivery Network, which is gonna speed up loading time for many people visiting your website. Currently, they are using PHP version 7.4 and they are using SSD storage. Now they have two basic hosting plans, Share Starter and Share Unlimited, and they have three possible terms you can sign up for. Just keep in mind, those prices are only advertised, so yes, you will be paying $1.99 for one month, but the renewal fee will be much, much higher, around 6 bucks a month. If you want to go and compare Shared Starter and Share Unlimited, there are only few things you have to keep in mind. The amount of websites you're gonna get. With Shared Starter, you will be eligible to get only one website, but you will get 5 subdomains, so it's good. But I think when you are just beginner, you don't need unlimited amount of websites, it's just useless. Also, another different part is the email address. When you are going with Shared Starter, you will have to purchase email account with your domain. So you will be getting support at lucanos.com and not support at gmail or yahoo or something else.com, which comes included with unlimited plan and it's around 20 bucks a year. Other than that, they are pretty similar. Now, I want to disclose that I am affiliated with every single web hosting company on my YouTube channel. What does that mean for you? Whenever you want to go and buy something from DreamHost and you would use my links or you would go to lucanos.com forward slash DreamHost, 
you will be still paying to DreamHost, but they will give small percentage of that purchase to me for referring to you. Now the important part is that this does not cost you anything more and you are basically deciding if DreamHost keeps everything or they will share something with me. But if you don't feel comfortable, you don't need to use my links at all. The good part about those links is that they will apply automatic discounts on your order. So let's take a look at different pricing. For the one year plan you will be paying $2.95 a month, which is $35 a year. And the renewal prices are going to be $7 a month, which is $83.80 a year. With both plans you will be getting your domain for the first year for free, which is really good, but the renewal fees are $18. The very good part is that DreamHost will offer you free domain privacy, which I will show you what it is later on. And when you want to go for first year, you will also have to pay for DreamHost email $19.99 if you want to have it. If you don't want to have it, you don't need to pay it and you can save a lot of money. But with a three year plan, you will be paying $3.95, which is $142.20 for 3 years, so for the 1 year it's 47 bucks, and renewal prices are $19 a month or $395 for 3 years and $131 for 1 year, which is the difference of $84 on 1 year and $253 for the 3 year. Also free domain and free domain privacy and no need to pay for email, it's already included in the price. Now what is the domain privacy you are getting for free? Well let's take a look at it. Whenever you are registering your domain, your personal information like your name, email, address or your phone number will be shared with public because it has to be public knowledge whenever you are registering your domain. But what Whois Protection or other known as domain privacy will do, the company will try to hide it under their own information. But don't worry, you will be still registered as the real owner of this domain. At this point, let's put everything together and look at our final pricing. So let's say you want to get web hosting, domain, domain privacy and email. For the one year plan, you will be paying in the first year for this everything $55.39. And from the second year and onwards, you will be paying $121.86 a year. And you can see for a four year, you will be paying together $420.97. On the other hand, with the discounted three year plan, for the first year you will only have to pay $47.40 and for the second and third year you will be paying $65.39. So in total, for three year plan you will be paying $178.18. The difference is that you have to pay this on the first day and with the one year plan you only have to pay on the first day $55.39. But from the fourth year you have to pay $149.87. So it will take you in total $328.05 for 4 years. Now also let's take a look at other people's experience because this is really important as well. DreamHost has good reputation, there is no doubt about it. The majority of bad reviews come from their support, that people were not satisfied, but I think if you explain it really well, they will definitely help you the best they can. Also, another point, they are getting a lot of points in every single element, so there is definitely nothing to pinpoint. So what are the results? Well, DreamHouse will offer a good pricing for a beginner, they have uptime guarantee and offer you daily backups, which is really good. They are recommended by WordPress, which is excellent and can handle a good amount of traffic as we could see with the stress testing. The great part is, if you are a non-profit organization, you can get 35% discount for qualifying non-profits. And also, amazing thing is that you will be getting advertising credits for Google Ads and Microsoft advertisements. So together, you will be getting $250 of free advertising, which is excellent. And what are some negatives of DreamHost? Well, they do not offer you email with shared plan, they are not the fastest shared hosting company on the market and they have sometimes longer waiting time for the support to respond. I also don't like that they do not have 24-7 live support, 
and also for some people the lack of cPanel can be also viewed as a problem. So who should use DreamHost in my opinion? I think DreamHost is the best for people who are looking for good value for money. Someone who is just starting out and wants to save some money and someone who is just playing around. For example, you are starting your own blog. It's great for someone who wants to start with making WordPress websites as well and for people who want simple plug and play solution. And it's also good for audiences mainly from the USA and North America. And who shouldn't use DreamHost in my opinion? Is someone who is making websites for their clients, there are definitely better options for this. And if you are certain that you will expect a significant increase in traffic to your website almost immediately, so for example when you are migrating already existing website that gets a lot of traffic, I think they are way better option than DreamHost. And someone whose traffic does not originate in the USA or the North America, there are also better options. Once again, if you want to get discounts, you can go to lookanons.com forward slash dreamhost or simply click in the link in the description. This is everything from me. I hope I'll help you make decision about dreamhost. Consider subscribing and have a nice day. Goodbye.